So about two weeks ago, I took my final final exam. Um, and it dawned on me that my MacBook was pretty much toast. And I was going to need something for college, you know, in the fall, for next semester. So I was looking on eBay, couldn't really decide, couldn't really find anything that I was, you know, wanting to take notes on. Until I stumbled across a 2005... PowerBook G4. Now this is a 15 inch model. It's not the 17 inch, but it's the 1.67 gigahertz, like the, the best one you could get for its time. Um, I've been playing around with it for about three or four days now, and I, I started thinking, you know, the interface just doesn't look as good as El Capitan does now. So, I had two options. The first option would be to just send this computer back and keep looking, which uh, I was not going to do. Or the second option would be to modify the operating system to look and feel like OS X El Capitan. I like option two a little bit better. So what I've decided to do is to split this video up into two episodes. The first episode is going to be dealing with Linux on the PowerPC. Why Linux? Because it's a little bit faster, it's a little bit more supported, and, you know, it's just about as productive as Leopard is. Um, I'm going to show you how to make Linux look like El Capitan for the PowerPC. The second episode is going to be showing you how to make OS X Leopard look like El Capitan. Um, I'm more excited about episode two. I think I've stuck with Leopard. Um, I like it a little bit better, but I figured, you know, I can't be biased. I'm going to show you both. So uh, with that being said, let's get into Linux and see what we can do. Okay, so this is what you'll see if you download um, and install the Ubuntu Mate package. Um, it's pretty standard. Uh, you won't have this wallpaper. Um, I did that myself. And that's the first thing you should do is find out which Mac wallpaper you want. Most people go with the default LCAP. Um, I'm somebody, I absolutely love the Mountain Lion wallpaper, so I always go with Mountain Lion. But you, you know, you get the idea. Find the wallpaper you want. That's step one. Step two, also pretty simple. You see this toolbar down here? Right click it and hit delete this panel and confirm you want to delete it and there's a reason go up here to system preferences look and feel and mate tweak and then go to interface and the generous people at mate have already put in an interface for you called cupertino once you switch to Cupertino, you have Plank down here. It's already a 3D dock. It's already ready to go. Um, these are some custom icons. More on that in just a second. But just know you have Plank already installed, so you don't have to do that. Okay, so as far as programming goes, you just press Control-Alt-T open up your terminal and the first thing you want to do is type in sudo add dash apt dash repository if I could spell ppa colon noobslab slash macbuntu now I've already done this so I'm not going to press enter um, you do that, it's going to tell you to press enter to confirm it, and you confirm it. Then you type in sudo apt-get update. Pretty straightforward. Then you type in sudo apt-get install macbuntu os icons lts version 7. You hit enter and it installs that for you. 
Then you're going to want to do sudo apt-get install macbuntu iThemes. Don't forget that i. LTS version 7. And then after that, you're going to want to do macbuntu os plank theme LTS version 7. Um, you're more than welcome to read the guide. I'll leave it in the description. But that is the only three things that I found that actually work on here. Uh, like I said, PowerPC is very limited as far as Linux goes. But the results are worth it. And again, feel free to pause the video and enter the codes as I go. Um, like I said, I've already got all this stuff installed and that's why I just kind of put the codes up. But pause the video, take as much time as you need, and, you know, just make sure you get it done right. On to the next step. Okay, so the next step, we're going to go back into System. We're going to go back into Preferences, Look and Feel, and Appearance. Now, Macbuntu OS gives you three appearance preferences. Um, personally, I either go with Unity Classic or Macbuntu OS. This is a cool part. Click it and watch a magic happen. Your icons switch immediately. Uh, your mouse cursor switches immediately. I have the Apple logo up here. It's probably the easiest thing in the world to just click that and it's installed. Second thing you want to do, when you do this, you'll have the uh, plank icon. Just click it. Um, if for some reason you don't have the plank icon, go to the very edge of plank and right click. It's taking me a second to actually get there. And just click preferences. And you'll want to go to OS 10 Yosemite. And that's it. You're done. I mean, if you want to stop there, you can stop there. That That is Macbuntu OS. Um, if you want to go a little bit further, go to the second link. I'll actually put it as second link in the description. And download the um, Plank Themer. And what Plank Themer has is this awesome doc called the Glacioso mod that in my opinion looks a little bit more like El Capitan. Um, so let me run let me run you through some of the apps I've got. Okay, so some of the apps I have is Kaja, which is a file browser. Midori, because Firefox was acting up a lot in this, so I just completely deleted Firefox and put Midori on here. It's it's fast, it's responsive, pretty good. Uh, Pluma, which is a text editor. Shotwheel, which is a photo manager. Pigeon Internet Messenger, which is, you know, IM. Calculator. Rhythmbox, which is like iTunes. And I'll show you how to change icons here manually in just a second. Um, LibreOffice Writer, LibreOffice Impress, LibreOffice Calc, Mate Terminal, Control Center, and Trash. Um, how I manually changed icons was I would drag items to the desktop. Um, you can pretty much type in any icon you want into Google, and as long as you see that the background is transparent, you can use that icon. Um, why is this not opening? There we go. Um... But like I dragged Rhythmbox in, I changed it to the to the El Capitan Beta iTunes because I like it better. Um, I changed Pluma to look like Notepad, and I changed these because if we go right here, you'll see that they have the Office 2011 wallpapers, and also Rhythmbox had the iTunes 12 logo, and I was like, eh, you know, I would rather. I'd rather keep going forward than going back. If you don't want to use LibreOffice, 
This is just something I'm going to show off real quick. You can go into Midori. And this is actually one of the perks of using Linux. I mean, I have it working on Leopard, but it's not as good. And if you type in Word Online, that is the same as Office 2016. That is Word 2016. You just have to access it off the internet. Okay, so, um, things that I know this will work for is the 15 and 17 inch PowerBook G4, the 2005 Mac Mini G4, the iMac G5, and the Power Mac G5. Um, there is a boot flag you have to use for the PowerBook. I will include it in the description. Um, I don't know if it will work on anything else. Please. If you do this, if you figure out that it works for your system, leave a comment below. Be like, hey, it works for the iBook G4 12-inch or 15-inch or whatever they released. Um, but that is Mac OS El Capitan Linux style for the PowerBook. Tune in Monday, and on Monday I will show you how to do the exact same thing for Leopard, which I'm sure a lot more of you will love. Um, this is Adam. Take it easy.